And now, your first alert weather. Good morning, it's Jeff Roper, and I uh, hope you're uh, planning a safe day today. You're going to need sunglasses this morning. It's going to be bright. You'll have to scrape that frozen layer off of that cupcake sitting in the driveway. Yeah, we had some rain, some snow, and some more rain and frozen temperatures. There may even be some fog that you have to contend with here to begin the morning. And then here comes the sun about 740. You head out the door and say, check your shillelagh, mama. We're headed. <laughs> To find some Irish potatoes. No, they're Idahoan around here. 24, and uh, this will reflect sunshine as we get into about 745 this morning. But between 730 and 8, we'll have some clearing conditions. It is chilly to start with. It feels like about 18 degrees in Idaho Falls. It is actually 25, and we're going to head to the lower 40s today for most of us along the Snake River Valley. It's in the 20s. It's 12 in Driggs, 9 in Jackson, 6 in Island Park, and it's about 26 degrees in Salmon. These are the wind chills to start the morning a big goose egg in 20 uh, from Jackson to Preston, 11 in Dubois, about 10 in Arco. Good morning to you. Thank you for watching. We'd love to see you in your green today. If you've dressed up your pet, send me a picture of that as well. And also, I'm going to be asking for your pothole pictures. We have just about entered pothole season, I think, <laughs> with yesterday's snow and rain and riding around town. You've probably seen some as well, but send me a picture of them. I want to I see them. They're pretty. We, you're not going to leave them out. We're all inclusive here. Uh, we do have showers that may be a part of our weekend on into the kickstart Friday and then another storm that will be here into Sunday, which will give us a 60 to 70 percent chance of snow. I may even come in and work Sunday night just because it might snow. The weather people get excited about that. It's kind of like Irish people on St. Patrick's Day. 34 in the afternoon, 33 in the Montpelier, of which I am. It, it will be in the mid-teens overnight, so we've got this cold dash of air that has come through with high pressure and that will affect our temps today. So it's going to be cooler than it was yesterday and then we're going to warm up and storm up on into Sunday if you're making weekend plans already. 35 today in Jackson Hole. It'll be 17 tonight and we'll be right there in the mid-30s for Dubois and about 37 in St. Anthony. 38 for Rexburg at the BY of I. We head into the central mountain areas where it'll be a little more mild in the mid-40s peaking into Chalice and Salmon and cooler into the desert about 35 near Atomic City and about 17 for overnight into the Snake River Valley. We go from 41 in Rigby where we are thankful for potatoes where they invented everything. Uh, thanks to Mr. Farnsworth 46 into Pocatel. I've often wondered if my name was Farnsworth if I could walk into Merlin's and get a TV for free. Because my you know my ancestors invented it. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Probably does. not. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen like that. Plus, my accent gives me away, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can tell I'm Irish. It's going to be 30 tonight into Pocatello. Take a look at the TV. You want to make plans. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast with fog in some areas this morning due to our moisture content and uh, some of the lower lying areas. Yeah, we'll see some of that uh, dissipate with sunshine into the day today for St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be 22 tonight into Rexburg and we'll see some cloudy buildup as we get into Friday and Saturday. But the warm up is just ahead of the storm up and Sunday a good a good chance of seeing some rain mixed with snow depending on where you are. Into the valley there'll be a rain snow mix and you'll probably see some snow on over into Jackson as well. It'll be 46 today in Salmon as you shake your shillelagh. It'll be in the 50s and kiss the Blarney Stone. That's supposed to be good luck, right? Yeah, that's it. It sounds like road rash to me. I don't know. 38 with uh, some sun poking through into Jackson today. It's going to be about 17 tonight in the low 40s to upper 40s on into Saturday. And snow will be there for a tremendous fun-filled weekend before spring actually drops in here and says, well, howdy. 46 for the leprechauns in Pocatello for the afternoon. Corn beef. <laughs> I can smell it. Well, I had it last night. We're going to show you that coming up. It'll be 30 and still freezing. And then we're going to ramp up into the 50s and drop it like it's chilly on into Sunday into Pocatello. It'll be 43 degrees and the sun pops in here for the kickstart of spring. It'll be 42 today in Idaho Falls. A little breeze out of the north will make it chill just a little bit and we'll be down in the mid 20s for tonight. And then we head into the 50s, but we're going to drop that snow in here with the rain mix, uh, that chilly combo, just like we saw. And again, it may dig in like it did yesterday with a little bit of a, a trough and we'll take some high pressure to punch it out of here and make it move along, Mr. Leprechaun. I want you to show me your potholes. Uh, Jeff.roper at localnews8.com. We're going to get those fixed for you. You, you. you can make them pretty if you want. I'll be back. <laughs> All right.